Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be very exciting because I have a very important announcement in today's video. I am going to be announcing our next launch, which is right now on Larly Los Angeles, as well as I'm doing a full face of new products that I have been dying to try out with you guys, like all this tart, milk, the villains collection from ColourPop, Benefit, like we have an egg. We got a lot to test out and I'm very excited about it. Plus, I'm gonna reveal what I'm launching next. Ah! I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make the intro quick and we can jump into the video. So let's go ahead and sing the subscribe song and let's get on with the revealing and the fun and the testing out and the first impressions of new makeup. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe! Let's jump right into the video. First, what I'm gonna do is reveal what we're launching and then we're gonna do a full face of makeup as well. I just explained that. Okay, let's start. We're launching laptop computers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a gag. That was a horrible joke. It was horrible. This is what the actual launch is. So this is a magnetic palette. Why did I say it like that? Magnetic palette. And it has in rose gold our logo on it. And then on this is like my personal one that I just put the newness inside of. But yeah, it's got all our information on the back and stuff like that. So it's a magnetic palette that we're launching, but we're also launching, da da da, -da drum roll please. 20 brand new shades of single shadows. So you can build your own eyeshadow palette. They do come individual. Here's the individual packaging. So you can pick out whichever ones you like, or you can buy all of them and the magnetic palette and you'll get $10 off for that bundle. But this is the single shadows and they come in this really cute packaging and they have the cutest names ever, which we'll go over in a second. I'll swatch them all for you. Here are the single shadows. They are so gorgeous. We have warm tones, some mauve tones, some colorful ones, and then some deeper colors. So there's 20 brand new shades, and I'm really excited for you guys to try these out. Obviously, they're super pigmented, really creamy, and then I think the magnetic palette is just like too freaking cute. And the magnetic palette is $12, and the single shadows are six bucks a piece. And then if you buy the whole collection, you'll save $10 off. The best thing about this is these shadows have launched right now, right this second on laurelilosangeles.com. So I hope you guys are excited about that. You can purchase them right now. I will link everything down in the description box. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna be doing a look with these, but first I wanna talk to you guys about each shade really briefly. If you guys don't wanna hear that, you can skip through and just go right into the eyeshadow look. All right, I'm gonna briefly go through the shadows. So the first one here is Shook. By the way, I had a really fun time naming these because I got to be a little more playful with the names because it's not all one themed eyeshadow palette. It's single shadow, so I had a lot of fun naming these. But the first one is Shook, which is a white bone matte. The next shade is Silly Billy, which is a shimmery gold color, which, girl, that's a staple. Okay, the next one is Gimmick. You know I had a name it gimmick. This one's really interesting. It's like a silver gold green color. It's a shimmer. The next one is Meow, which is kind of like a tan mauvey pink matte. The shimmery green is Sweet Pea. Okay, I named this shade Bride because it is the perfect shimmery bridal color. You could also use this on your inner corner or brow bone, but it'd be really beautiful on your eyelid. The next one is Drunk Flamingo, which is a shimmery satiny orange. Then we have a really rustic ready color, which is called Summertime. Next is our really pretty shimmery bright blue. This one is called Crystal Sea. Our light shimmery green is called Vacay. Then we have Tan Tan, which is a nice matte tan neutral transition shade. Then we have Copper Hopper, which is our shimmery copper. We have Glam Gal, which is our shimmery bronze. We have a shimmery mauvey pink, which is called Rally, and in the South, Rally means to party. <laughs> I named this one Neutral Nelly because I think these are just really staple brown colors. Like this chestnut chocolatey brown is just perfect, so it's a matte and it's called Neutral Nelly. We have Silver Cloud, which is our sparkly shimmer silver. 
Guys, this one is called Subscribe. I finally named something Subscribe, and this is our matte warm tone brown. Then we have a shimmer purple called Grape Juice. We have a cobalt blue called Cobalt Cat. Then we have a black with golden sparkles, and it's called Night Sky, which it looks like a night sky. It looks like a black night sky with gold flecks in it, which is really beautiful. So these are our shades that we have, and I hope you guys are excited. So let's jump into an eyeshadow look, shall we? So first, I'm gonna be filling in my brow with the Brow Blade from Urban Decay, which this is not my typical brow pencil, but I am using it because we're doing the full face. Now, I have used this pencil before, and I think, like, truly, the pencil side of it is magnificent. I can't remember if I talked about this on my channel <laughs> yet. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I can't really remember if I've already talked about it. But, you know, I really like the idea of the ink on the other end, the little ink pen, but but for me, because I need so much filled in, I don't have luscious brows. So far, like the ink has came off a little bit of a different color and you can tell, so it doesn't look that nice. I think I just need to keep playing with these pencils to find my perfect shade in the ink side of the pencil. Also, I think it would have been cool if they put like a spoolie on the lid of like the end lid or something because I like have to have a spoolie to do my brows because girl, these brows are wide. And yes, I'm gonna be doing eyeshadow first, which I typically do it after my base makeup. Oh, by the way, I use this in Brunette Betty. Oh, I really love that name. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good with my dark hair. Now we're gonna jump into the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put down a little bit of drama on these eyelids. The first shade I'm gonna tap into is Tan Tan, which is our matte tan shade. So I got some on the brush. I'm going to tap it off. Oh, by the way, this is an M433 brush and it's obviously extremely pigmented. I'm going to blend it out and I'm really focusing this color on the outer corner of my eyelid and then I'm going to bring in what's ever left on the end of my brush. I'm going to go ahead and bring it forward. I think nice tan colors like this are always the one people hit pan on first because you can just incorporate a nice tan eyeshadow in any look to get it started. So that is blended out nicely. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add Tan Tan to this eye too. With the same brush, I'm gonna tap into Meow, which is our matte mauve pink. And I'm just gonna pack it on the outer corner right here just to build up some color. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could just put a shimmer on your eyelid and like use these shades as a look. Super easy, everyday look. I'm gonna take it a bit further than that. Again, this is Meow that I'm just blending away. I'm going to take Grape Juice, which is our shimmery purple, and I'm taking it on a M456 brush. I typically would not put a shimmer on a brush like this, like a fluffy blender brush, but I have a particular look I wanna do. So I am gonna be packing this shimmer on like this just pat 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 and then I'll lightly like buff it out really light-handedly I'm gonna go ahead and bring just a little bit of the purple shade forward and just kind of focus the rest right here in the center of the eyelid as well as the outer corner I'm gonna go in with a clean R39 brush and just soften up any edges And then with the M456 brush, I'm gonna take some Neutral Nelly and I'm gonna deepen up just this very outer corner right here. Really tiny brush strokes. This uh, dark brown shade, honestly, it's really pigmented and it blends out really easily, but you really don't need to tap your brush into it very much because like a lot of color comes off. So you wanna be kind of careful with this one and not go too ham. 
Also, this is another good reason whenever you're doing a little bit more of a dramatic look to do your base makeup later. So you can just go pew and wipe all that off, not worrying about ruining your base makeup. So that's always really nice and something to think about depending on the eye look you're doing. Now, if you're not going too crazy with too many colors on your eyes, you can definitely do your base makeup first if you wanted to. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my eyelid with a little bit of concealer and then we're gonna add a lid shade. So I am going to be using an M421 brush and just take any base or concealer that you have if you're following along. And I'm gonna carve out just the lid right here, making sure to not cover up all that purple that we put down because I think it looks pretty freaking cute. As you can see, we have our lid carved out. I am now going to take Shook, which is our matte bone shade on a clean M421 brush. And I'm just gonna pack this color on. And then I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm just gonna soften up where the purple meets the matte shade. I'm going to grab a little bit of bright and pop it on my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> Isn't it insane? It's almost metallic. Honestly, can you see how intense this color gets? It's like really bright. So now I'm gonna take a wipey and just go like that. <laughs> and clean up all the mess of me blending out my heart. Next, I'm just going to simply line the eye area with just a tiny bit of liner. Ta-da! And then I'm going to curl the lashes and then we're gonna be testing out the new ColourPop mascara. This is the Volumizing Mascara from ColourPop. This launched like last month, I believe. They had a whole bunch of crazy colors with it as well, if you're into that. I'm just using the black shade today. And it actually seems to be doing pretty freaking good. I have a hard time with mascara, so this one is not so bad, okay? I'm gonna wait to do my lower lash line and smooth all this out whenever we do, after we do the base makeup. So I'm gonna pop on a Miami lash and then I'm gonna finish this eye and I'll be right back. For primer for my face, I'm gonna be using the Hydro Grip Primer from uh, Milk Makeup. Um, I haven't really tried this out much. I think I wore it once, but I gotta say it's really hydrating. And what I think I like about it the most is the fact of how tacky it gets on your skin. So it gets really tacky. I'm warning you, like, real tacky. But I don't know, it just feels like this nice, really hydrating layer that your foundation sticks on with, which moves us on to foundation. And I'm really excited to try the multitasking foundation. Foundsiller! by Tarte, not foundation, found Siller, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna try 36H Medium Tan Honey on my skin. Oh my gosh, I've been so excited. So again, this is a multitasking foundation. It's supposed to be foundation plus concealer. So I'm gonna put some on their sponge, which I gotta say the very first Tarte sponge was a purple sponge and I hated it. It felt like a rock. This one's wet by the way, but their sponges have come light years from where they were. And um, this one feels extremely soft. So I'm gonna abandon my M6 brush and use the sponge with the foundation. I just feel like that's the right thing to do because while trying it out, why not try it out with a new, you know, Tarte sponge? Mm -hmm. So far it looks really, really dewy. It looks really dewy though at first. I'm just patting this all over. Oh my gosh, you know what I gotta do first? Actually, I gotta avoid my lower eye area. Look how dark my dark circles are, which is great for today. We have so much to try, guys. It's like crazy. This is the Dragon Ugg from Dragon Beauty from Nikita Dragon. Girl, I'm so excited for you. So excited. So you open it up and there's two parts. There is a brightening powder, which is this we'll be using today in the egg. I'm surprised a little Nikita doesn't come out. Like a little baby Nikita with a pink wig on. Can you imagine? <laughs> that was too much. Okay, and then on the other side, you get the color corrector, which like I said, since the day I've known Nikita, she's used an orange color corrector her whole existence. So that's why I was avoiding the eye area with the foundation, because I wanted to try her out. Girl, okay. This is actually like a thin layer. 
Oh shit, I dropped it. <laughs> Cat hair. Lovely. It's a thin layer of it. And I'm gonna put a little right there too. So what I'm gonna do is take this sponge and I'm going to blend out to soften up the orange, which cancels out darkness, which thank you, goodness. I need it in my life. So if you can see, do you see how this is like literally like melting into my skin? It's pretty freaking cool. Really cool product. Um, and then I'm gonna blend out this eye as well with the same sponge. Just tapping, 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 tapping. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna use this foundation as a concealer as well, because that's what it's like made for. So we're gonna see what happens. And I'm gonna go ahead and coat the rest of my face with the foundation using the opposite side of the sponge. So I'm not dispersing any more of the corrector on. I think it's really cool that Nikita came out with a color corrector and a brightening powder because that's very true to her and who she is and right up her alley and what she truly does and uses to create her own makeup looks. So I just felt like it was really authentic for her to come out with that. And I know some people were like, oh, this is so silly. And I'm like, no, really it's not. Like she could have just came out with an eyeshadow palette and called it a day, but really she stuck with what was true to her and like made the makeup line like, you know, Know, means something so I thought it was really special that she did that and it shows that she put like thought into her collection which for me whenever I came out with my first palette it was the cat's pajamas palette so I was just like you know I wanted to come out with my I'm like oh <laughs> hitting my throat but I wanted to come out with my first palette to be very true to me and like all the things that are me and all the names that I use and my subscribers call me and that was cat's pajamas and I got a lot of backlash for it myself like people were like oh this is so not cohesive and I hate this palette and it's awful and terrible and I'm like my god it's an eyeshadow palette for the love of god <laughs> You know, but I wanted it to be true to me and it was. And I'm still proud of that palette and I'm proud that I came out with something that mattered to me. So that's just my thoughts upon it. So I'm really happy for her for coming out with this collection. And the only problem with the foundation as concealer, my face is all one shade. And I'm not really like living for that. So I'm gonna take just like a little bit of concealer here. So I'm like, girl, I have to have a brightening under eye. You know what I mean? It's gotta be brighter than the rest of my face. Like. I don't want my under eye to be the exact same shade as the rest of my face and that is the only problem I see in the foundation concealer. However, I will say it does have pretty freaking awesome coverage and I am digging that. Okay. I feel like the color corrector was also bomb covering. So I have two powders to try out. Jouer drop theirs. This is to set your whole face, the soft focus set powder. I have this here in light, looks really pretty. I also have it here in fair pale, looks really pretty. I'm gonna use the light shade and sprinkle it all over my face. And then I'm gonna take the Dragon Beauty, which Nikita told me she kind of just mixes these two to brighten the under eye, like specifically the under eye as a brightener. But first I'm gonna use the Jouer and I'm gonna take a big fat E54 brush and I'm just gonna like stipple it into my face. I really love this powder brush for this specific reason. Wow, this is like really setting the makeup nicely because I was very shiny. Ooh, but I gotta say this Tarte foundation, honey, she is full coverage, full coverage, okay? Then I'm just going to mix together the two shades of the Dragon Beauty Eye Brightener Powder. I'm actually gonna use the R36 little highlighter brush to do so. And we're just gonna pack this on. I feel like my under eye, if you can tell a difference, is a lot brighter on this side, especially right through here. I feel like you really opened it up. Looks beautiful. Wow, okay. I'm really digging the uh, face makeup here. It looks so gorgeous. Woo, I liked both of those powders a lot. Okay, for bronzer, I've really been loving the brand spanking new Morphe bronzers. They're freaking huge in pan size. So this one is Icon, which is the medium shade. And I'm just gonna take a R14 brush, tap into it, and I've been using these a lot. So this part is not first impressions. But they just like blend out really nicely. And you guys obviously know you can use my code Laura Lee for money off. 
I think the bronzers, I don't know if they're back in stock or not. I'm not sure, but I think they sold out like quickly. Go ahead and lightly buff it around my hairline here and around the temple area. Oh yes, I'm swelling. Please be sure and tag my brand page. I meant to announce that. If you use any of our products, please just hit us with a tag because we are always looking for people to add to the PR list. We're always looking for people to grow, to shout out on our brand page and to show love. So if you use any of our products or single shadows or whatnot, isn't that funny? I'm blogging today. Tag us. Well, now she's a bronze goddess. Um, as you can see, the bronzer is really pigmented. So next up, I'm so excited because I'm about to use some of the Villain collection from ColourPop. These are the Villain highlighters. There's five of them and I really love all the villains. So this one is Maleficent. Guys, these are like really crazy pigmented. We have Ursula, which is this one. It's more purple. This looks really pretty. This is the Evil Queen. So this one's a little bit deeper. This one is Dr. See, I always called him the Voodoo Man, all Princess and the Frog, but Dr. The Sillier? I don't know. But I, this is the Voodoo Man to me. <laughs> always and forever. My favorite evil turd is Hades from Hercules. This one's really cute. It's like peachy. And then lastly, we have Corella Deville, which if you have um, lighter skin tone, you'll really like the Corella Deville. So I'm gonna try out the Queen Evil. I'm gonna take a fresh R36. My cheek is already glowy because that foundation is super lit, like very dewy. Yeah, Evil Queen is my jam. It does have a little flex of sparkle in it, so just a fair FYI, it's got some glitter. Wow, really gorgeous. For blush, kind of obsessing over the new Benefit Cheekathon palette. My favorite one is the Cheek Leader Bronze Squad one. Oh, this is perfect to travel with. You get two bronzers, a highlight, and two blushes. Like this one is perfect to me. So I'm gonna use Coralista, which is one of my favorite Benefit blushes. I'm gonna use an E53 uh, brush. Oh, it smells so good, so good. It smells like I just wanna eat it, oh my gosh. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let me finish my lower lash line and then we'll do lips. Taking a clean M433 brush, I'm gonna take Tan Tan. You already know I'm gonna buff it all the way from the inner corner and then I'm gonna drag it around the town to the inner corner. Hey here. Tan Tan is the shade I've been using for months and months and months. Just like, honestly, whenever I do it, I look and it looks like I don't have any eyeshadow on. It's because I'm literally just wearing Tan Tan. It's great. And then for gold, I've been using Silly Billy. So I'm gonna also tap into a little bit of the mauve color and then Neutral Nelly, Meow Neutral Nelly and Tan Tan. All right, I'm gonna hit the waterline with black liner, which really helps to define the eye. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this ColourPop Volumizing Mascara to hit my lower lash line. <laughs> my lower lashes, not my lower lash line. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with how bright this area is. If you get a chance to get the brightening powder, get it. For my lips, I do have a new product, but first I'm gonna line my lips with Strip Down. And then I'm gonna try out a new product in just a second on my lips. I'm going to put Jouer Buff in the center. And that will dry matte. But what I wanna test out is the new Artist Couture Lip Glosses. This one I have in Foreplay. And, ooh, look at that wand, girl. Ooh, so pretty, so nice. Um, this is my favorite one out of all of them, but I'll show you, they have a bunch of them that came out. Here they are, Oh, they're so pretty. Come on, Mac Daddy. And then this is the one that I wore in foreplay, gorgeous. 
Okay guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I like the eye look. I think it has like a little pop of purple in it with some matte and some brown shimmers. And it's really beautiful and sultry. Don't forget to check us out right now. We have officially launched LarlyLosAngeles.com. And then also, I liked everything that came out. The foundation looks really beautiful. I'm not sure how it wears just yet because I haven't worn it. This is truly a first impressions of it. The color Color corrector and brightening powder are amazing. Get them. I'm not just saying that because I'm friends with Nikita. Like, seriously, you could tell the difference in my eye. Like, it's or the under eye. It's su super powerful. And then as far as the um, highlighters, I think these are really beautiful. The one that I think works best for me is the Maleficent one, but be careful. It has chunks of glitter in it. So it looks really melty, but you can see more sparkle in person. And then, oh, I love this stuff. I seriously love it. Like I haven't barely used it much, but honestly, I'm a little bit more of a dry skin and I really, really love it. So it's my jam. Really good stuff coming out lately. And if you stay till the end of the video, surprise, because we are gonna be picking 10 winners that it's gonna win not only the Larly Los Angeles eyeshadow collection, but they're also gonna win the entire Larly Los Angeles makeup collection. So every piece that we're selling, we're gonna send to 10 different people. So all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and leave one comment down below. That's all you have to do. You can get an additional entry by following me on Instagram at larlarly, but please leave your Instagram handle in your comment down below so we can give you that additional entry and make sure you're following me. So yeah, we're gonna pick 10 people to win the new full collection as well as the full line of my makeup collection. So you're gonna win a ton of makeup, 10 people, and I will have all the goodness in the description box down below if you are interested in entering that. Of course, it's open international. And yeah, good luck. That was my last very end of the video announcement. I love you guys, and I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.